Hi everyone, it's Tara Lynn here. Today I'm going to do a review for you on one of my favorite foundations and it's called uh, Dior Air Flash. It's an airbrush foundation. It's really fun and cool and you know, it's a spray foundation and it's by Dior and it's called Air Flash. Um, I think there's only like six or seven colors um, or shades. The one I have is um, 200 and I have worn this before. This is not a first impressions video, um, but I did want to demonstrate how well it covers. Um, it covers really well. Um, it's a bit dry, you know, drying. If you have really mature skin or super dry skin, you will want to definitely moisturize and prime really good before you use this. Um, I have a lot of primer on. I just stipled in um, my primer into my pores with um, one of my Sigma brushes. I use the Sigma F84, maybe, no. This is the Sigma F84. This is like an angled kabuki. Um, I have another one that's a flat angled kabuki, which is the F88. And I have the flat one. I don't know what that one is. But anyhow, I just used some of the Smashbox Photo, I think it's Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And I'm going to show you how I apply this. What I do is, let me, let me go back here. I uh, first shake the bottle. And again, this is a foundation that's great for like just when you're going to go out, like you're going out for a night on the town, you're on vacation or photos. Um, this is a good foundation for those kind of things. So you want to shake it really good. And some people do the quick Z spray thingy. <laughs> I do not do that. I have learned a great way to apply this and that is to spray it onto the brush and then apply. So you'll see how great it covers. I'm broken out right now, you can see, um, which is kind of a bummer, but I will show you how well this foundation works. So here I go. I, um, I just do a little bit, you know, so, whoops, spray it on there and do it pretty quick, you know. Just kind of, you kind of stipple it. You stipple it on, and you have to keep doing that. So you spray and apply. So nice. It goes on um, really well with the primer on. So again, um, and then. It dries pretty quick, so you have to really, you know, work kind of quickly with it. <laughs> um, this is a really good color match for me, actually. <laughs> um, and it does oxidize a little bit um, throughout your day, so beware of that. Um, it dries to a powder finish, so you don't need a, any setting powder. I can't imagine anyone needing setting powder with this, um, but... This brush works really well for this purpose. Um, yeah, it has the, I like, I use one that's also like a flat, but rounded. Um, that one's got shorter bristles, like about this length, all the way all around it. Um, I find that I can get that. Um, just, it, it's easier to use. The ones with these longer bristles aren't so easy, you know, it's, they're harder to maneuver. So anyhow, let me finish this up here. My forehead. And we'll be done. Like the quicker you work, the, the more you're going to get out of this. So it spreads really fast and easy, but you have to do it quickly. So, you know, the slower you are, the more product you're going to use. That's how this works. <laughs> so, you know, one or two sprays on the brush, you know, covered my whole forehead. Whereas I was working kind of slow down here and I had to spray it a few times. So you can see the coverage is amazing. And it's beautiful, just this beautiful powder finish. And if you all have watched any of my videos, you will know that I tend to purchase more yellow um, shades for some reason. And you can see I'm, I'm more on the pink side, you know? So this, this foundation has the perfect amount of pink and yellow in it. So it's a true neutral, I believe. Again, Dior's Air Flash Spray Foundation. This is the shade 200 and it is the lightest shade. 
Um, I will say that this foundation oxidizes a bit throughout the day. So at the end of the day, you know, if this shade 200 is too light for you, like, you know, um, throughout the day it will oxidize and it will kind of like meld or melt into your, you know, regular skin tone. That's actually what it does is it kind of ends up matching um, my skin tone better by the end of the day. So let me zoom in. I mean, it really, really covered well. And it's a good color match for the most part. Um, it didn't cake up around my eyes too much, you know. Um, it's just smooth and powdery and nice and fun, you know. Um, so, yeah, you just moisturize and prime really well. Spray it onto a, this type of brush, it, you know. I Before I got these Sigma brushes, I was using, um, what was I using? Like a kabuki brush, a round, big kabuki brush. But this definitely works better. It gives you better coverage, um, more even, smooth application, and it just, it just works better. <laughs> so, anyways, I give this foundation for its purpose, like fun going out foundation. I'm going to give this a five. This is a five star foundation for people that, you know, if you're not too dry um, and, you know, it's going to look flawless. It looks flawless even on me. I'm 40 years old and I've got fine lines, wrinkles, large pores, um, and it makes me look flawless, you know, for a few hours at least. Um, but if you're super duper dry, beware. It might not be the foundation for you, but for me, for a fun foundation, wearing once in a while, it's a five-star foundation. I have not broken out from it ever. I've worn it maybe three days at most um, in a row. Never had a problem with it. So anyhow, moisturize and prime key. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And also my other channel, I have another channel. Um, it is linked to this channel. Um, so if you go to the about tab on my actual channel, you can see the link to my other channel, which it's about, um, that channel is about the mineral cosmetics company that I am an employee of. So if you want to know, watch the video on my other channel. Thanks. Bye.